back to another episode of SA3 TV and today she's back after three weeks yeah three weeks she's she's back now uh, today I'm just gonna talk about okay right what the issues you issues I was having with the s3 and why she wasn't on the road for three weeks which was quite it was a horrible experience for me because I absolutely love my car but yeah let's just get to it I'm gonna sit in the car because it's freezing cold so let's get to it before I even get into it, any, anything look how nice she looks I actually got her clean cleaned yesterday and unfortunately it's a little bit dirty as you can see it's parked in the mud right there it's a real pain I'm not gonna lie it is it's pretty cold outside so I thought I'd just sit in the car I was kind of planning on standing outside the car and filming but it just ideally not really because I have been suffering from a cold even now you can kind of tell I've been suffering from a cold for the past two weeks as well which hasn't been amazing but I am back I am officially back and I will be uploading more of the S3 on my Instagram and obviously my YouTube channel as you're watching um, but yeah so let's just talk about what's been happening with my Audi S3 so not my previous video at Porsche in Germany make sure you check that out as well but not my previous video but the one before that which I was speaking about the coolant was leaking so I thought I sorted that out funny enough I believed it um, and it was for about two weeks so just just let's just recap a little bit if you are new to my channel let's just look, recap so one of the most common problems with the Audi range especially the A3 range the Volkswagen Golf and the Seat Leon because obviously they're all the same range uh, they have a common problem with the water pump and the thermostat they tend to leak because the housing of the thermostat is plastic over time because it's going hot and cold hot and cold it starts to get a little bit fragile and it starts to leak coolant so that was sorted. I got the water pump and the th thermostat replaced, which was perfect. And then two weeks later, I seemed to have another problem. Well, not even that, it's the same problem. So I was having an issue with the coolant leaking again. And not only that, I could smell fuel, which was not a good idea at all to even drive. But I still carried on driving, funny enough. I don't know why I kept driving, but I kept driving. Saying, I literally just got pulled up by someone just to move my car because I was blocking someone's driveway, which is fair enough. I mean, this place isn't exactly open, is it? If you have a look, even from there, look behind as well. I was just blocking that bit, but I've just gone back now and I'm not blocking it at all. Well, I'm going to move in a second, but yeah, he'll be back in about 20 minutes anyway, but I won't be that long. And um, so, yeah, so I was starting to smell fuel in the car which was not good at all and it was slightly worrying and it is very dangerous because obviously the car gets hot and fuel obviously is flammable it will I, w I don't want to burn up in a crisp okay <laughs> I want to live 2020 and I got slightly concerned so I didn't have the car I did not drive it at all I tried to avoid as much as I can because this was happening before New Year's and I've obviously Audi were completely booked, completely booked. So I had to give it in on the 2nd of January, which was only just a couple of days ago, which was not good at all. Um, I had to wait that much. I didn't have a car, I couldn't go anywhere. I was working from home, which wasn't ideal. It just got an absolute ball ache. So when I gave my car in, I was contacted by Audi three weeks later saying that your coolant, so there's a pipe that goes into coolant which was leaking, which was fine, it was just a pin, sorry not a pin, a clip, which was loose. So they put that back on and the fuel smell was funny enough the air intake hose, so where all the fumes from the fuel is coming from, it was passing in through the cabin, which is a reason why I could smell fuel quite strong, not only in the inside but the outside as well. So when I was picking up a couple of friends of mine they could say they could smell fuel, quite strong and that was very very concerning but yeah it was just an air intake hose well I thought anyway so got that done two days later I could still smell fuel which was not right so I said to Audi look can you please have a look into this um, so they said fine took the car back he goes he can't find it the next morning the mechanic so the Audi specialist the te technician could smell fuel he smelt fuel, he traced it back and it was underneath the inlet manifold. So on the Audis and Volkswagen and Seat, 
they have half aluminium and half plastic which is which I think it is, it is good because it's easier to take off less of a hassle but if you just have a look at this video that they just took for me just to show you right where the leaking is coming from as you can see in that video you can actually see the fuel leak not heavily but it's just dripping slowly which I'll be honest with you is not good at all so I sat down with Nadia and said look what are the possibilities you can have a check into that and they came back saying to me we're going to charge you 500 pounds to take the inlet manifold off which apparently was a three hour job it's not a three hour job and I'm not going to pay 500 pounds for a for a very I wouldn't exactly say a minor job but a small job in my it's a small job in my eyes so it was not worth me paying that much money so they said to me we'll charge you 500 pounds just to take the inlet manifold off and to tell you either it comes under warranty or not for me that's not ideal at all because I'm going to lose money anyway regardless regardless how much I pay I'm still going to lose money which wasn't like I said it's not ideal at all and it was pretty frustrating it did annoy me a little bit so I thought you know what no let's just you know let's just ha let, I'll, I'll, I want to take responsibility and I'll do it myself I will look into this myself so I did so me and a really good friend of mine he's really really good at cars so we did it together, so we had a look into it, which was really good. It, it took us two hours to take the inlet manifold off, because there's a, because the only problem with Audis these days, and Volkswagen and Seat, everything is so snug. Technology is packed in, everything new is put in, everything's just too snug, you can't even get your hand in anymore. Which was not the most ideal thing, but we got it eventually. So we took the inlet manifold off, and if you have a look at this photo I'm just going to put up now, it will show you that it's the injector seal. It was quite strange, but I was looking on um, a lot of forums, and it wasn't. It was a common problem. I'll be, I'll be honest with you, but not that year. Everybody was saying it's the older range, so from the two thousand and seven up to the two thousand ten, eleven, twelve. That problem was for then, uh, and for that for that year of a car. So I thought it was quite. It was a quite strange. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie. My shoulders kind of hurting. Hold this camera, but <laughs> I hold it as long as I can. But yeah, as I was saying, um, it is a common problem. I was quite shocked at the fact that it was at my age. So I had a look at the actual seal, and as you can see on the seal, it's been rubbed off from the top, which is a reason why it was dripping fuel from the fuel injectors. Obviously, it injects fuel. That's why it's called fuel injectors. So that was the reason why it was it was actually leaking fuel which was a, a relief for me because I've now got it sorted and now it's safe to drive on the road and of course it's legal to drive on the road now and yeah I'll, I'll be honest with you I was pretty disappointed at the dealership saying to me we're going to charge you 500 pounds for a two and a half hour job it was not worth me paying that much money and I only just paid for not even labor I only just paid for the parts which was 40 pounds that was it. That's how, that's how cheap it was. I paid forty pounds. So comparing five hundred pounds to forty pounds, I just saved myself four hundred and sixty pounds. And I thought, and to be honest, with you, I'd be quite surprised. It was quite fun fixing my own car. It was, a, it was, it was a good laugh. And I learnt, I did learn a couple of bits and bobs going, obviously fixing it and um, taking everything off. And I'll be honest with you, I would, I would always recommend is getting it diagnosed properly and having a look around. See what people can offer you, see the different deals, because cars like these, they need to be maintained properly and fixed properly by people that actually know what they're doing. Luckily enough, I know what I'm doing. I have friends who work in that, who work in, in the motor industry. They know exactly what they're doing. They know my car way better than I do. So they know exactly what it is. When I sent my car to, to, to a good friend of mine, he had a look at it and he told me straight away, it's the fuel injector seal. He knew without, without even hesitating. And I was slightly disappointed at Audi. Um, because I know their technicians, they, they know their cars very well, but I was slightly disappointed the fact that they couldn't even diagnose a simple thing, which, like I said, was a disappointment, but that's out of the way now. The car's fixed. It's, it's back on the road. I'm happy. I'm smiley. That's all that matters. But, yeah, <laughs> I think for me, because um, I want to build my audience with you guys, I want you guys to tell me what do you guys like, what do you not like. Tell me. I want to know. I want to build my audience. I want you guys to like, subscribe, and please share because my next, I hit my first target of 50 subscribers and now my next target is 100 subscribers. So please keep sharing, keep sharing, keep sharing because I, it's always been my dream to, to YouTube and obviously my dream car, my Audi S3. And I, I, I want to go further. I want to take things further with this car. I want to go on an awesome adventure like I did last month. I went to Porsche. 
I saw some amazing cars and one of the most unique cars. Something a lot of people don't know about and a lot of people don't get to see. So I was quite, I was really, really happy. And I just hope that this channel goes really far and I hope you guys enjoy what I put out. And I, I really hope videos like these are very informative for you. So next time, if you do if you do have the same car as me and you do have this similar problem, I hope this helps you and kind of guides you on what the issue is and how you can resolve it. But like I said, make sure to like, subscribe and share.